What's going on everybody, GTTest201 here, bringing you another Minecraft video, welcome back to Roosevelt City, and today I have a lot of energy, so let's take it out on this tour, and let's just use all that energy up. So we are touring the brand new Lever House, this building right in front of you right here, oh my goodness. So this was supposed to be a filler building, and it turned out being a, well, a little bit more than that, because I enjoyed building it, and people along the way were telling me how much they liked it, so I really wanted to like put more effort into it. And so here we are, which is actually one of my favorite views of this right here. But this building is a real building in New York City. It's one of the first of its kind, made in 1952, I believe. Yeah, 1952, the Lever House, 1952. And I know what you're thinking. What a horrible name for a building. And I don't know why they named it that. I didn't really look at the history of it, but we are at the Lever House. Haha, <laughs> I know, I'm so funny. So, we're at the Lever House. And I guess we'll start at the bottom of it and tour there. Now, as I said, this is a real building built in 1952, so it has those features of a building of that era. Now, this was their attempt at the, you know, modernism, one of the first approaches to modernism, one of the first attempts to modernism in New York City, well, in America overall. So uh, you're going to see a little bit of that 50s flair in it as well. Because I, I tried to, before I entered this building, I tried to capture what the current building looks like and what the renovations look like. So what I did on the top is I mixed in the 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 brick, which it did have brick before or some sort of terracotta color looking planters or, you know, uh, I would just say brick for now. I don't know really what it was, but they changed it into a regular stone texture. But I thought that the brick looked much better. So I kept that, but I did do some of the modifications of the new design that they are introducing. Also, the main plaza area over here is the original plaza. Now they have trees right in the middle that are being planted right now, actually. I don't know if they're keeping the restaurant, but here we are at the uh, Casa Lever. And uh, you may have seen before we, went, we came over here, are, well, this fire hydrant and these, uh, these bollard things. Whatever you want to call them. There's many names for them, pylons and stuff. But uh, these protect people. But in this case, it protects the fire hydrant from being destroyed. But my friend Poetic Whisperer made that. Looks so good. I love it. And he made a few other things you might see in this video. I'm not sure if I added it to this building. And then you have my friend Drayden's building right here that we had to move to there. So let's go into the Casa Lever restaurant. I know. I know. Really cool name. And this is a real restaurant. And I did my best to base it off the real layout. Now, it's a little crammed. Uh, you know, it's a little hard to get everything in. But I did my best to get the, the restaurant in. As you see, it's, it's kind of quaint has those uh, arched, well, angled walls. And I like how this turned out. You know, I didn't have much room to work with, but I think it looks really good. You have a little bar here, kitchen, and these little booths right here in the wall. Now the black seats might be a little hard to see, but uh, these are supposed to be, you know, full, well, be able to access it from all the way around. It's kind of like a horseshoe table. And you have the upper level seating up here. So I had that little detail in there. I was going to leave this empty, but that was another part that I, I ended up wanting to do. So I'm happy I did it. That is the Casa Lever restaurant. Gotta have somewhere to eat with the outdoor area too right here. With the little bar that's right here. Okay, now there is a way to get in the second floor from right here. These are, uh, this is actually based off the real floor plans of the Lever House in New York City. I did the best I could to get these to be, the you know, as close to the, the real thing in New York City as possible. But, you know, can't always get it 100%. So I would say this is about 85% if you would go off the the main areas, the lobby and everything. Now, uh, the upstairs area, the, the floor plans for the office space are based off the new design. And I just copied it all the way up because this is just a filler building. But it is still a special building. has interior based on the real interior as well. So I think we are ready. We're not going to go through every part of this building because it's so boring. Some of these back areas right here, like this back here, is like a maintenance area, garage area of the elevators. We won't be going through all these today, but we're going to tackle the main ones. And let's go upstairs now to the next lobby. I consider it a lobby space in a way. It's like a study area. And I, I think I did it as they show it in the the models on their on their site their site's a really beautiful site nice you know and easy to understand and so i just based it off of what i saw online and you can see i'm using my my newer materials 
I think that's my basalt texture I made, and then my marble walls, and some nice seating areas. Sorry if the frame rate is low. I turned down the render distance a little bit, which is why you may not be able to, well, you can still see pretty far from out there. And I must say, in a really good view. Sadly, this view is going to be blocked by a ginormous building right there. But for now, they got a million dollar view. And so more seating area over here. This just goes to boring stuff back here. As I said, I'm not gonna really be going in many of these areas back here, but this is a boiler room, which I actually put some effort into. Now these things, I usually don't do much effort, but as I said, people started, you know, telling me they like this building. So I wanted to actually try on it. It's a little maintenance area where they hang. I used to work in maintenance, fun fact, yeah, I used to work in maintenance in uh, my high school that I went to, at the high school I used to go to. And so I, I picked up a little bit of, you know, things I'd see back there and I built it. Okay, so now the next level, and there's, oh, there's, there's bathrooms over here, extra space, but the bathroom is pretty basic. And yes, this is actually based off the real floor plan. I put the bathrooms right where they should be. But I had to cut out the stairs that were in this area. So in the real one, there's stairs here that go to all the floors. It's a secondary stair. And so let's go up here. Now, this is based off the, the reimagined, the redone uh, lever club. They call it the lever club. And I guess if you're a member or you work here, you, you have access to this. Now, it looks a lot like the real thing. I actually went off of video stuff that I saw online, pictures and just renders, and I recreated that best to my ability. And I would say this is about 90% accurate, the floor plan and where the furniture is all at. But it's really, it's really nice. It has a kitchen and everything. Nice outdoor seating area too, which we will look at. We looked at it earlier, but we are going to look at it right now. And as you see, this is actually all based off the real furniture too layout. And I'm trying not to spend too much time on little things because there is actually a lot to see for this building. And is if you're also wondering, yeah, these right here, these glass panes right here are glass panes. These white lines are glass, but I just retextured my green and I made it white because nobody needs green glass. Really, nobody needs it. Not I don't need it anyways. The flagpoles up here. Some trees that are here. Now, I believe right now during the construction, because currently as of today of, you know, 421 2023 they are still remodeling this building and these trees are not currently here i believe but i don't know i haven't been been to this site in a bit okay i think we are ready to go up to the next floor the library in here not much and the bar as i already showed and there's a little seating area very back here a little private you know meetings and we are ready to go to the office floors as I said, the office floors are quite straightforward. They're almost all the same. So let's go to a nice one. Let's go to a high one. And we have quite a bit of floors here. I did not count. So if you want to slow the video down and count each floor we're going by, be my guest. I think this is, yeah, okay. This is the one before the top, top level. So this is what all the offices are like. Now, as I said, in, in real life, this would be the stairwell in here. There's, there's two stairwells. There's one in the back right here. At this one, and this goes throughout the whole building, and it actually has a window I noticed in the real model. And look at that view, wow. I did not expect to see this view. And the bathroom right here. Now this is the men's restroom, I think. <laughs> look at that. I would not mind, uh, you know, going in here. Now hopefully, nobody could see me using the, the bathroom from in here, though. I didn't think about that, but we're pretty high up. Oh, that's the women restroom, that's right. Okay, the ladies restroom. And this is the men's. Still a good view. See, I gave the women a better view. And then here is the break room. And now the office. Oh, why did I come through this way? Let me go through the other way. Okay, so this is right over here. The, is the waiting room and the secretary. And look, you have that view of the new stadium over there. I don't think I showed that quite yet, but now we are showing that. And the... I guess, I guess you could say the college-y kind of area. There's college-type buildings over here. And here's the main area for if you're working here. You have these little offices that have their own little room. There's really no privacy, though. No privacy here. I'm sorry. <laughs> and so you have the main, like, kind of open air space now. You're going to see less cubicles in today's 
designs because cubicles are really um, not really desired anymore, but now it's more of like an open commutative space or communal. People like to communicate, communal, all that stuff. Let's go in one of these offices, and this one looks pretty big right here. So I would say, hmm, this is probably somebody, a boss. Uh, who knows what this is? It could be a, a casting company, maybe, with this couch in here, by the looks of it. And this is the director's office we'll go with. <laughs> but anyways, this view right here, not a bad view. This building has really good views until it gets blocked in by another building, which will definitely be there. And you can see the new 270 Park Avenue over there. It looks really good from here, actually. And let's leave the office. So this is what all the floors look like. And the ceiling actually has a nice little detail to it, too. I hid the lights inside there, so it lights up on its own like that. And I'll show the building at night, if I remember. And then, okay, now we are approaching, I think this is the top floor. Is this the highest we can go? Okay, I believe so. Yeah, okay. So this is the highest you can go. Now, this is the mechanical floor. Now, if you don't have access up here, then you're not supposed to come up here. But we have access to this floor because I built it. And let me just show the views. I can show the views. A little server stuff right there. Now, surprisingly, this building isn't that tall. It's like only like 105 or 100, 113 tall, uh, 113 blocks, I believe. I don't remember what it was, but it's not that tall. And yet it does look pretty tall because it's like pretty much on its own over here. But yes, yeah, so I made a track up here in the air vents, air duct, all that stuff, air ducts and, you know, window washing, all the stuff that makes the building, you know, stay clean and makes it work. And this is based on the real rooftop of this building in real life. And yeah, supposedly there are windows on the top area right here. If anybody can confirm this who's been there, please let me know. I do not sure, I'm actually not sure why they had windows, but it, it looks fine from up here. It looks cool from up here, to be honest. Okay, so let's leave the roof, and let me just show the outside again at night, because I just love how these white lines all look, and it looks so realistic and just so, I don't know, just so good. I just love international style. So, oh, let's make it nighttime on here. I'm sorry if you hear my, my, my controller, but yeah, let's look at that. And fun fact, this is my first time actually seeing it at night. I don't know why I've never taken a look at this at night. So I hope that everything's lit up properly. And yes, it looks like it is for the most part. But that is the lever house at night, and this is just so cool. This has probably become one of my favorite buildings in this area of the city, unintentionally. Very unintentionally. But you have that beautiful view right there. And I, uh, I don't, oh, I'm exposing other buildings behind it, but you can see the brand new buildings that are going up nearby that are really pretty as well. So um, I think that's a good place to end it right here. I thank you all for watching to today's tour of the Lever House on Roosevelt City. Be sure to check out my social media. Check out my Discord if you want to talk to me. I'm always on there pretty much. And if you want to submit a world for a world tour, which I'm touring again, you can submit on there. You can DM anything you want on there. Just, you know, keep it clean. DM your cities or whatever, or not even cities. I, ac I accept anything. So if I, if I find a building really cool, I will tour it. So check out the other social media. Uh, like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe. And I will see you all in the next video. It's been Juicy Taz 201. See you in the next video. Goodbye.